Hey guys, so I tried to film this video last night, but um, I was really tired and I was still processing um, what was going on. So I thought I would um, delete that video and try this one. So um, it is currently 12.02 p.m. on Wednesday, and if you're wondering, why aren't you at work? Well, I no longer have a job. Um, and basically it was, I, I didn't do anything wrong, um, that I know of, and I was not told that I did anything wrong, and I wasn't let go immediately. I did get to work the full day, and I was told that I was being let go due to overstaffing. Now, just to put that into context right now, um, the reason why they were overstaffed was when me and Brittany were hired, two assistants were leaving, and so they needed two people. And, um, of course, um, you know, we were hired to take on the job. Well, um, about two days into our first full week, um, one of the girls that left came back. She didn't like where she, uh, where she had gone and she was back. And it was our understanding that she was what is known as a floater, which basically meant if the dentist needed something, they could go get it while we were still helping. Um, or if somebody got sick, they could fill in for them that sort of thing. Well, that was all well and good for about three days. Um, so for the rest of the, you know, for the rest of the work week and the next week, when both dentists were in the office, um, that was when we were told that, um, Brittany was going to help with the dentist that was only there for a day and a half just to sort of so she could get a feel for him in case I got sick. And that was fine. You know, that, that made sense. But then the girl that came back just sort of started taking over with that particular dentist. So a lot of the time on days that he was there, it was like I had nothing to do. And I'm not saying that she did that on purpose so that I would lose my job or to make me look bad or anything. I, I basically just figured he had asked for her to work with him since he already, she already knew his processes and you know, that was also whatever, but you know, it does kind of look bad when you're standing around doing nothing. And the fact of the matter was they were also used to you know, I think she was also one of the ones, she was working back and forth between two places, and so she, um, she didn't work every day. Now that I am not sure on, that was just sort of the vibe that I got, um, because we were both, we were all being told, oh, they're not used to um, they're not used to having three assistants all at once. So, there was that. And, anyways, so, she came back, and they, they were overstaffed. I'm not gonna lie, they were overstaffed if they were going to have someone working, three assistants working full-time and only one dentist, basically. Um, so... What basically ended up happening is I lost my job due to that. Um, and there were a few things about the job that I found sort of unfair, but I'm not going to get into them. Uh, if you're one of those people who reads the blog as well, um, there's a little bit more on some of the unfairness, but um, like I said in that post, I'm not going to sit here and bash the people I worked with or the people I worked for. I'm not going to do that at all. Um, out of respect, and really, I don't think there's much that I can bash them on, you know. 
Not that I would do that anyways, because like I said, out of respect, you know, those people hired me. They gave me a job when I didn't have one. They took a chance on me and, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that now to, um, there are other places that I've worked for that, yes, I feel like now I can, um, talk about things a little more. Um, now that I've been away from those jobs for years, but, um, you know, this was a good job and I, I learned a lot. I got, and I got some like actual experience, not just, you know, my schooling and, you know, I found that I actually really enjoy being a dental assistant. Which may sound really weird to some people, but I actually really enjoy it. Who knew, you know, English graduate, you know, English major over here enjoys working in dental offices and, you know, all of that. So, but anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know that that, um, that happened and... Um, it sucks. It really does. And I, I'm still sort of processing, but I can at least talk about it and not either feel really, really angry about the situation or really, really sad about the situation. Um, I usually process things really quickly. I'm not one of those people to really dwell on things. Um, and I'm certainly not going to let this uh, get in the way of things. Like, I'm already looking into other dental offices, other jobs, and hoping that I can get into somewhere very, very quickly because I do need a job. And... Um, you know, I just, I need, um, I need help, you know, not help. <laughs> I need a job. Um, and so I, like, I'm not giving up like, well, that happened and now I get to sit on my ass again. No. Um, but anyways, Life happens, and you have to figure out what you're going to do when life happens. And right now, I know that I want to get another job. And um, I do know how the job market is in my state, because for two years, I looked for jobs and looked for jobs, and then I quit for a while, and I looked for jobs and looked for jobs. And um, sometimes things came out of them, sometimes not really. Um, I, I would get interviews and not get hired or, um, not get any calls at all for months. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. Um, I'm actually about to change, um, clothes and probably going to film a story time video about one of my past jobs um while doing my makeup so if my face bare like this and my bangs still look the same it's because they're being filmed on the same day i'm not going to lie to you guys when i film i sometimes i like to film several videos sometimes i like to film one video uh it really just depends and um yeah so i'm gonna do that i'm i'm taking today to basically regroup and process and just not lose my mind over the fact that I lost my job. And, um, basically I'm also taking the day because I'm tired. <laughs> um, yesterday was a busy day at work. Um, and I slept for about 12 hours last night, so, um, yeah, 
that's basically it. Um, I hope everybody has a good rest of their week. Um, I'm going to have a good rest of my week regardless of what happened yesterday. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.